Welcome back to another episode of Don't Quit Your Daydream. My name is Rebecca Room, and this is the lovely Patrice Bass, and she is a painter who's created a beautiful collection of works that are inspiring and very alive with color and passion. When I started painting, it was almost 30 years ago, and it was art therapy. My dad had passed a lot of grief, um, dealt with depression for years, and so the art therapist told me, she said, come out, come and paint. And I said, I can't paint. She said, yes, you can. So I started painting, and she said, you have an eye for color. I want you to keep painting. Never stop. Through everything you go through, just keep painting. Now I'm able to help other people, women and children, I love working with children, to paint because it gives me a release. Um, it's my passion, this is what I'm supposed to do. Children will paint, they can't speak it, but they sure can paint it. And you can look and tell what they're going through. And so I think it's so important and just let them be children. Get away from the computer and just create. That's, mm -hmm. that's beautiful. I love acrylic and um, sand, beach sand, because I like the texture. I like working with cloth, African cloth. And that's what I'm working with in my, my plates also, implementing the African cloth, and also in some paintings too. I started off with the eyes because I believe the eyes are going to give me who she is. I'm using oil and acrylic and also latex paint. And I'll probably put some beach sand on to give me some texture. A lot of times I'm not sure where I'm headed, but I know the color draws me. And those eyes, there's something about those eyes that are going to bring her, bring her together. And she's a large painting, so it's not going to happen overnight. It may be months before I get to complete that. But I'm really excited about that large painting. I'm going back to my childhood and listening to Mama's stories when she was a kid. And then I'm remember, remembering like my uh, uncle, he was a preacher and he had a little church down in the country. So now I'm painting little church houses and my aunts and, and with the hats on. I have a series also, it's because I said so. And those are the ladies with their hands on their hips because I don't know if you ever, if your mother ever said this, but you'd ask something, why? And she said, because I said so. <laughs> So I started the series because I said so. <laughs> I love that. That's because awesome. I said so. The women, they will come here and uh, they may be hurting, going through something very traumatic. And all I'll do is, number one, we're going to pray. And I'll anoint the canvas, just paint. You pick the colors, though, because you know what's going on inside of you. And I can see by just the colors and even the size of the eyes or if the mouth is very small, why aren't you talking about what's really going on? Because if you paint a little bitty mouth, that means you're not really voicing what's going on inside. They're able to put it out there and then able to start the healing process. So this sculpture here, if you notice she has a crack, right? Even though she has a crack or a scar, it's okay, we're still beautiful. And that's what I, I wanna share all the time is the cracks, even though we've got scars and our cracks, we're still beautiful. And that's what it's about, to help other women, to cut, you know, to let them know, yes, you can make it. Through everything you go through, just keep painting. Thank you so much for, for letting us see all your work and, and uh, letting us into this sanctuary. <laughs> it's been such a beautiful experience and, and thank you for what you do. Definitely. Thank you.